what do you think this line can improve upon against Auburn this season compared to you know how the first 58 minutes of last year's game went? Uh, definitely protecting Bryce. Being able to scheme the right game plan and uh, opening lanes in the running game to give us a balanced offensive attack. Uh, we're all coming into this week trying to get back to the Alabama standard and finish 1-0. Charlie on the right. In this last game, we saw Amari come in for Tyler at left tackle. Just what did you see from him in that game and maybe how he's made progress over the course of the year? Ah, that's big bro right there. Uh, Kite, Kite's one of those guys who are even kill. You know, he works hard every day in practice. I, I've been able to take a couple of reps from him, especially earlier in the season. So i uh, got all faith, all trust in Amari Kite. I know that he's an excellent player, and he'll go in and execute whenever his number's called. How do you grow as a player from being part of big, intense games like the Iron Bowl both last year and leading into this year? I think growing as a player, playing in those type of games, is just being able to look at yourself and be able to keep the same emotions throughout each and every drive and each and every play. Uh, a lot of the times you can look at the game and get a little anxiety behind it, but at the end of the day, it's football. Same thing we do out there on that practice field every day. So you just got to hone in on your training and, like Will said, go back home to mama. You were a guy that was once committed to Auburn and flipped to Alabama. Just how big is this game to you, being that and being a guy from the state? It's a huge game, not only for me, but for this entire facility, for the entire state of Alabama. Uh, everybody knows the implications of this game, regardless of the record, regardless of where we are. Uh, we all know that this is a game that you want to win. It's a resume game, and uh, I plan on fighting as hard as I can and trying to help me and my teammates get back to the Alabama standard this week and finish 1-0. Javion, how much is what Jace was able to do in that last game in the running game, run blocking, something that um, you want to keep building on in the Iron Bowl this week? Uh, it's something we've been trying to get together all week, uh, all year, actually. You know, Jace is a great, great running back. You know, excellent vision. He's a heavy ball, killer, ball carrier. Sorry. But, um, yeah, that's something that we want to get back to. It's something that we always look forward to is running the ball and allowing him to hit them lanes and do what he does best. I know you've really seemed to embrace the Iron Bowl rivalry last year. What are your memories of, of some of those interactions? Oh, man. It's a great time. Uh, definitely because the game was one of those that we needed to, to propel us to where we uh, ultimately wanted to do that season was have a shot at the national championship. Uh, it was a great game. It was a spirited rivalry. I remember uh, heading into overtime. We was all on the sidelines, you know, us and Auburn. And they played some music in the stadium. And I just remember our, our entire leadership group like bringing that energy to the sideline. And like those, those are the type of things that you look to when you see a rivalry. And uh, this game, I expect to be no different. What was that music for? <sighs> I think it was some Waka Flocka, for real, bro. Like it was, I don't know. I don't even remember. Like I just remember my legs being tired for jumping for two minutes and then having to go right out. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good plan. Bro, bro, Mike. Auburn has a few guys back along their defensive line from last year and Hall and Wooden. Just what do you see from those guys and what challenges they uh, present to you? Uh, two great players, uh, great pass rushers, uh, definitely leaders on the defense. They know the uh, scheme that they have there. Uh, we're familiar with them and they're familiar with us. It's going to be a great competition. Um, after the game, Seth McLaughlin said that you know the offensive line really honed in on trying to impose their will against uh, Austin P. I mean. Can, for people that have not been in y'all's shoes, like what's it like to be really kind of imposing your will, on the, especially at the line of scrimmage? Um, it comes in all forms of different types of things, but ultimately just having the offense clicking on all cylinders, and we all know that that starts with us up front, uh, whether it's opening lanes for the running backs, protecting the quarterback, uh, play action, whatever it is, it's, it's, it starts with us. And uh, that was something that we wanted to show last week, obviously rushing for 250, and we want to continue to carry that throughout the rest of the season. Do a couple more questions. Marcus. Um, of course, we don't know if this is Bryce's last game or last games at Alabama. But in the three years you spent with him, like, what did, what are some of your favorite memories of Bryce? Not only as a teammate, but just as a person. That's too many to count. God, Bryce is just such a great person. Like, if I was a GM in the front office, no doubt, number one overall pick for me. Uh, a great guy, team guy. You know, and it is nothing too big for him, nothing too small for him. He doesn't put no one over himself, and he's always for other people. Probably my greatest memory, 
I'd have to say I came back Arkansas with a broke wrist and we came up with a new celebration. It was nice. It was nice. Y'all should, y'all should check the film on that. Uh, I think you made a trip to Birmingham for Auburn's bowl practice last year. How much do you kind of embrace the, the robbery and the back and forth uh, of this thing? Uh, like I said before, it means a lot to a lot of people. It means a lot to everybody in this facility and a lot of people over the state. And uh, the history in this robbery is something that's going to continue to carry on, uh, whether I'm here or going. And that's just a part of it. You know, showing some sportsmanship would be advised, of course. And uh, this is a new year, new season, and we're just ready to finish the week one and all.